controlling of breathing in humans. In humans, mostly you do not think about that you need to breathe. Here is going to be the brain and the parts of the brain. This is the cerebrum, the cerebellum and the pond and after that is the medulla oblongata that is really the breathing center for uh, vertebrates. It is responsible for the rate of the breathing as well as the depth of the building, uh, breathing. The rate and the depth is controlled by the pH change. pH change first in the blood and later, uh, later on in the surrounding tissues in the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds the medulla oblongata. But basically the CO2 concentration change will change the pH of the tissue. In our case, the blood or the cerebrospinal fluid. CO2 is the end, of, uh, end product of metabolis, uh, metabolic activities. They get into the blood vessel and diffuse into the cerebrospinal fluid. So CO2 is going to bind with water and forms a carbonic acid. This is a equilibrium, so it's a weak acid, so it's not going to, uh, it goes back and forth. So it's not going, it doesn't have a one way reaction. As well as the carbonic acid will dissociate into bicarbonate ion and a hydronium ion, hydrogen ion. If, a cell if in a cell the cell respiration increases, the CO production will increase and will move towards to increase the hydrogen ion level, so the pH is going to decrease, the environment will be more acidic. Sensor uh, sensors as well as receptors are all around in, well, they're in three places, let's go, uh, with the medulla oblongata in the carotid arteries at the neck, as well as in the aortic arch when the aorta goes up and down, so it's in the arch. These all detect the pH change in the blood or in the cerebrospinal fluid, and they are increasing, they are going to increase or decrease the rate of the breathing as well as the depth. In our case, when it's uh, too much carbon dioxide, they get uh, the excess carbon dioxide out from the body. Uh, the oxygen concentration in the blood has very little effect on breathing. One example though is when uh, you go in mountains and the high altitude uh, does not contain that much of an oxygen and the oxygen level is so low in the blood. So the sensors uh, send message to the medulla oblongata into the brain, the breathing uh, center, and it would increase the breathing rate. As general, the breathing, how uh, is the breathing uh, controlled? This is controlled by negative feedback. This is a beautiful negative feedback mechanism. The blood, the normal blood uh, pH is between 7.35 uh, th uh, through 7.45. If we hyperventilate, we will decrease the carbon dioxide concentration in the blood and that would increase the pH, so alkalosis, alkalosis will happen in the blood. So the compensation for that is hypoventilation from the body as the hypoventilation will lower the pH and the blood pH will go back to normal. On the other hand, if we hypoventilate, 
the carbon dioxide concentration will increase, the pH level will go low, so acidosis will, uh, acidosis will happen, and the compensation will be hyperventilation to get the uh, excess carbon dioxide out, and the pH will increase a little bit to go back to normal. So, altogether, the breathing is controlled by pH sensors, carbon dioxide sensors, and oxygen sensors in the body that makes the blood between a small range of pH. That's the end. Done.